Hello again. Something which puzzles me greatly, and I know I've spoken on this subject before, is the fact that whenever some television producer, filmmaker, person staging a play in the West End or organising an opera, wishes to have members of a visible minority in the cast, it is almost invariably the case that they select black people. That is to say, those of sub-Saharan ancestry who come from either Africa or the Caribbean. Very seldom will the visible minority be somebody whose heritage lies, say, in the Indian subcontinent. This is curious because such people are far more numerous than black people of African heritage, both in Britain and also in the world as a whole. In this country, there are five times as many people whose ancestry lies in India, Pakistan or Bangladesh than there are those whose ancestry lies in Africa or the Caribbean. But it is this much smaller minority who always seem to be given the part. Here are a couple of examples which illustrate what I mean. A new television series is being made based on Frederick Forsyth's There the Jackal. It stars Eddie Redmayne in the title role. The MI6 agent who relentlessly pursues him is, of course, a black woman. Not a person of Indian origin, or Chinese, you see, but a black person. The new series of the Game of Thrones spin-off, House of the Dragon, is set in an imaginary world with quite a few important black people mixed in among all the white folk. They are the only minority in this world, though. No Chinese people are there, and the only significant roles for minorities are taken by those black people. Why do you suppose that such an imaginary world has plenty of black people, but none of Chinese ancestry, and only two in the entire world shown of Indian heritage? Perhaps it is because although black people are such a small minority in Britain, and uh, fairly small minority in Britain, they are more numerous in the world as a whole. Perhaps they are a global majority. That won't work really, because there are far more Indians in the world than there are black Africans and Caribbeans. Let's do a quick calculation. There are 1.4 or over 1.4 billion people in India and another quarter of a billion in Pakistan. Then there are 173 million people in Bangladesh. This means that in the Indian subcontinent there are almost 1.9 billion people. How many black people in the world? Well, 1.2 billion people in Africa, but uh, a lot of those people are Arabs and Berbers and white people. There's only about 980 million black people in Africa. Another 43 million black people live in the Caribbean, 15 million in Brazil, and perhaps 40 million African Americans. Then, I suppose if you wanted to count all the black people in the world, there's possibly half a million or so Aboriginals in Australia. All told, there are probably about 1.1 billion black people on Earth, and almost 1.9 billion in the Indian subcontinent. Interesting, no? So although black people make up a very small proportion of the world's population, and there are far fewer black people in the world than there are people in India and Pakistan, and in this country there are five times as many people of Indian and Pakistani heritage as there are whose families are from Africa or the Caribbean, it is those black people who are given the preference for all the acting parts on television and all the modelling jobs for the advertising industry. Why is that, do you suppose? There is something of a mystery here. One possible clue is to be found in the fact that black people are invariably shown in films and television programmes as being more kind, compassionate and intelligent than any other ethnicity. In the House of the Dragon, for instance, everybody, I mean literally every character, is frantically double-crossing and betraying everybody else, and the intrigues and treachery are the main driver in that drama. The black characters, though, 
never engage in any crooked schemes or tell lies or act foolishly or behave cruelly. Unlike every white character, they alone are upright and honest. In the New Day of the Jackal series, the titular villain is of course a white man, and the resourceful and dedicated secret agent who tracks him down is a black woman. This is a modern convention in drama that all black characters must be good so that they can be shown in stark contrast to wicked white people. That I have accurately described the current state of affairs in television and film in Britain is undeniably true. The reasons for this situation are not all that easy always to discern. <laughs>